and we're live. Hello, one. It's just the Sky Kid and a night. Knights of the Round Table. If points, and this is fucking Queenie. Like, he's a cat. Flushing the toilet, he's a cat. Can't, so, can't do that yet. So, tonight, we're gonna bring you new music. And by new music, I mean new stuff to us. Like, we just found out about this. It is a sub genre, like, sub, sub genre of ska punk. It is called Aquacore. So, backstory. And I think this is really neat. So, I've been working from home. My role is foster parent recruitment and retention specialist. My job is to engage our foster parents and ensure that they feel supported, um, they have resources, yada yada. I'm like a foster parent's parent. But every day that we've been working from home during this pandemic, I've been sending daily emails. And so throughout the month of April, I talked about Easter and I talked about Passover and so I talked about Ramadan which began last week and my emails have information in them so like learn something new every day a song of the day and a video to work out by so I decided to google are there Muslim ska bands which led me to immediately Takwakor so what is Takwakor uh it was a book by Michael Muhammad Knight, um, who, being a young human being, hi Trisha, decided to convert and become Muslim. And as he was studying and researching his religion, um, he also went on to college and he was hanging out with punk kids. And so his ideology was like, being Muslim is very radical, being punk is very radical, and he found a lot of correlations between the two and wrote a book called The Taqwa Cores. The Taqwa Cores uh, depict a fictional house on a college campus where there are punk rock, uh, imam, drunk imams, punk rock shoonies, mohawked kids, uh, burqa wearing, um, lead singers of punk bands, so all very radical in its ideology. And after releasing this book in 2005, these kids reached out to him and were like, holy shit, that's my life. So he went around and he got a bus and he gathered up all these kids and they made a band. And so there's actually a subgenre of punk rock called, or ska punk, I would say, because they're like ska punk, surf, etc., cetera, um, called Taco Course. So we're going to play music from these bands that we saw. Not only did they make, they formed a band from these kids, there was multiple bands from all over the country. Right. So it was like offshoots of all sorts of different music. And they're like, this has been my life. Like I have two lives. I listen to music and I make this form of music, but then I'm with my parents and I'm a practicing Muslim. And so um, it was very interesting. There's a documentary on YouTube called um, the Talk it's called Taqwa Cores, The Rise of Islamic Punk Rock. So you can actually meet um, Mohammed, uh, Michael Muhammad Knight and his, they are a traveling group of people. Uh, they actually go over to Pakistan and try to start a kind of movement there. It's not as successful because there's very much a caste system and they were trying to break that down as well. So it's very interesting. I really very much enjoyed this documentary, but it led us down the rabbit hole to find these people and we have found the music now that we will play for you this evening, which is Muslim ska punk. Um, and when you type in Taco Core into Facebook and you click pages so that you filter through, it brings up the the book um at, like the movie group page it brings up the book club whatever join this group and uh, brings up the band we'll play and it brings up a band we found 
as of recently in Chicago called Sad Dragon. So we're gonna play you brand new, like we've just discovered this. It was super fun. It's like we're scientists. So. We didn't develop a cure yet though. Uh, working on it. We're working on it. Here's my cure, have a beer about it. Have a beer about it. So the first band, oh, I'm gonna mess. Cominas. Cominas. The Cominas. Um, look them up. It's T the T H E. It's, <laughs> whoa, it's been a day. The band's name, how you spell it, is K O M I N A S. Go ahead. If you type that into Facebook, uh, it will pop right up. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different albums available to listen to. We're going to play the most recent, or a sample at least, from the most recent one. Do you want me to play the one I played earlier? Backstabber? Oh, yes. So this came out September 11th, 2019. This is the, say it again. Cominas. Cominas. The systems are down. I could be pronouncing that incorrectly, but that's the way I believe it's pronounced. And this song is called Backstabber. Coquacore! <laughs> It went on and played whatever it wanted to. <laughs> this one's called The Systems Are Down. We'll play Backstabber next. Don't be one of those though. Don't, don't be one of those.
This next one's called Reject, and the band's name, it's spelled K-O-M-I-N-A-S, Cominas. so bad I do this one's called no fear I have no fear about getting coronavirus to go get me some mozzarella sticks she ain't a fear
liked that. That was pretty good. So that whole album was called The Systems Are Down. It was just released September 11th of 2019. The Cominas, that's K-O-M-I-N-A-S, and Taquacor is T-A-Q-W-A-C-O-R-E. So, did you want to play yours or you want to play another one from here? Play another one from that and then go on to... Which one? Which one do you want me to play? Escape to Blackout Beach. All right. Um, I do not speak Punjabi. So some of these words are hard to say. So please hang in there with me. Which one should we play? Well, I guess we could play the title track of the album. Silver! All right, this... No. Title track? Title track, Escape to Blackout Beach. Okay. All right. <laughs> the title of the album, title track. Thanks! June 15th, 2010 is when this one was released. Taquacore. It's even a tag in Bandcamp. That's cool. All right, escape to Blackout Beach. Get off the table. It's not a good spot for this.
Blackout Beach. I liked it. So far, I've liked all the things that this these guys have done. My quarantine hair is getting the better of me. Anything else you want me to do? I might end up just taking the dumbass hat off again. Uh... Hmm. Wild, nice in Guantanamo Bay. Cominas. That's K O M I N A S. And they are a Takwa Core band. Oh my goodness. So this was released in March of 2008. Ooh, loud. Dude, cat, you gotta fucking move. Which, which one do we want to play? Wow. Al Qaeda Superstore? Sharia Law in the USA? Chaku! Ayesha! Gishum Bab. Sharia Law in the USA. I believe that song was on the documentary. The documentary. I'm taking the hat off. It's too warm for that. No one is comfortable sitting around this table this evening. The cat is eating himself. Kip keeps playing with his hair. Dude, seriously, get off the table, man. <laughs> Fuck. So, this is the Cominas, Sharia Law in the USA, off of Wild Nights in Guatemala. Back from 
This next one is called Walkida Superstore. Sit down. Say some random shit. Unfortunate sort with a bottle of booze in his patched up coat. And let's just agree he had an ugly mug. Like a loose stitch in the Bible belt, he vowed to rule an imported hell and said, Well, I'll outsource goddamn plantations too. Some Saudi will then say, Me, man, the oil therefore sets up my ass, my colon try and then send it up. <laughs> We're both in red Messiah swords so I pawn out my mom or Lordy Bork Hell I got the profits Agreed. Figured out When I got some personal goals Not the drinks are such a bone It's the right place And get it can be again Best price of the skirts With gross and bones Get tested And just like our little Catholic church. We got some men shit on one. My humble home ain't half as fraud as some tens of women with a kid of you. Stand at the top, you'll see the cops become a cat kids and line to stop us. Help make the heart to the lucrative venture too. No one would watch your bath that you did in bathe every Thursday here. Super cool. <laughs> I'm an office that's rife with fat politicians making eyes at my wife Grinding my teeth when summon me to the oval room above Keep your wife, we wanna toss a mean as salad The president popped my cherry over the American flag and said Wipe your ass with the stamps you used to eat <laughs> So what I really like, the more and more I'm learning about a taco core, and so far it's really hard to find any bands. There's like two we've found, and even the ones in the documentary we watched, we tried searching them, and they are like invisible. I don't know if this is so underground that it's like, I don't know. I know that it doesn't have, um, it's hard to find stuff. But if you do Google, like, Muslim ska bands, Takwakor is a subgenre that pops up. So these guys, super punk rock. Also, it's very interesting um, that culturally, uh, it very much is a line. It's punk rock, and it is also, like, an affront to their perspective of how they were raised. Yeah, because you're... If, it's so you're, if you're, genuine. If you're, if you're like that, you're not... Part of the happy family so yeah that's right so I highly recommend watching the documentary I will drop it in the comments at the end of this video so that you can also feel free to enlighten yourselves um, I encourage you go out and seek this stuff do you want to play your stuff yeah all right this one is uh, I think this is what they were called when they were in Pakistan <clears throat> which is uh, Noble Drew, which is named after um, a prominent, a black. prominent black Muslim. Mm -hmm. 
This is the only song that I could find on uh, here, anyways. E L L E. <laughs> I need to take online school. No. No. Yeah, well, no. You can also research who Noble Drew was. There's lots of information on him as well. It's just very interesting when you learn one new thing and then it just spirals down the wormhole into finding new stuff. There it is. All right, how do you say that? Thalio V. Thalio V. Chimiro. Chimiro. Noble Drew. Fingers crossed, my friends, that this works appropriately. There we go. You're listening to Noble Drew, Muslim Scott Punk, subgenre, Takwa Core! can read the title. Thalio Vichimero. Chimero. Thalio Vichimero. So if you're just joining us, well, we've kind of been... Oh, look at There's a whole bunch. Hey, hey, from Guantanamo Bay. A mix. Anyways, so what we've been discussing is we happened to stumble upon a new subgenre of ska punk music called Takwa Core, which really came to fruition because of a work of fiction by Michael Muhammad Knight, who wrote a book called The Takwa Course. In it, he depicts a uh, college kind of punk house with all of these Muslim kids running around being you know, punk rock as fuck. And uh, when the book was released, people decided to read it and contact him and go, hey man, that's that's my life. And so we've been playing music from this documentary called Takwa Core, The Rise of Islamic Punk. 
Um, we'll drop the link in the comments at the end of this video. So if you are so inclined, you <clears throat> may watch it if you'd like. I think, hold on, excuse me. Oh no, I'm not gonna be able to find it now, right? Nope, okay, so this came about because I write a letter every day, letter, email to providers that I work with every day. Um, and last week, Friday, um, Ramadan began. And so I try to have a theme that kind of makes sense with the email that I write. And so I stumbled upon this genre because I typed in Muslim ska band. Um, however, in the archives of my, my noodle here, I did remember that I had music from when I worked at the radio station in college. And I was like, huh, I think that this music is also probably Muslim. So gaudy and, and okay, so the album is called Gaudi and Nasrat Fatih Ali Khan. Nasrat Fatih Ali Khan was a Pakistani Muslim who introduced the world to Kuali music, Kuali music. And um, the song I decided to share with everybody that I will share with you this evening is Bate Bate Kasi Kasi so uh, we're gonna play some Pakistani Muslim Kuali music because Gaudi took it and mixed it and made it dub. So it fits with our genre tonight. Happy Ramadan. Assalamu As alaikum. There you go. Assalamu salam. I get super excited when I learn new things and I can't talk sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Our co-host, Queenie. <laughs> no. Go away. All right. <laughs> He's really liking the camera tonight. He wants you guys to know that he washes regularly. Are you? Like your hands? Wash your hands! Like the cat licks himself. Eat your legs. just joining us thank you very much uh that was Gaudi and Nasparat Bati Ali Khan now Gaudi is a more modern um or current uh musician artist who um I believe is English and he who Nasparat Fati Ali Khan is is a Kuali Pakistani Muslim who introduced the world in the 60s and 70s to that style of music. He went on to write multiple scores and was hired uh, throughout various um, different like movie companies and such and did a lot uh, to really introduce the world to that style of music. Gaudi came in, found these old never released recordings and he dubbed put put them into a, the style dubbed called it dub. Into dub he dubbed it into dub there you go so for those just joining us we've been playing music muslim muslim music assalamu alaikum happy ramadan may you have a great fast may it bring you enlightenment during ramadan if you are not aware muslims fast from right before sunrise until sunset in the United States. It's about 17 hours of fasting, and it is one of the four pillars, four of the five pillars of um, the Muslim religion. And so uh, during Ramadan, the belief is that um, you had uh, Muhammad who was bringing the first books of the Quran. So there you go. That's, that's a little bit of information for you there. Um, again, Takakor, the birth of punk Islam, Islamic punk, however you want to say that. Anyways. Punk Islam. There you go is a documentary that you, my friends, can watch. It is available on YouTube. I will drop that link. In the comments section, we're going to take a short break. 
Um, and then when we come back, we will play some local music that when you type in Takwakor into Facebook and it pulls up just like three or four pages, we found a band from Chicago called Sad Dragon. Um, sitar is punk rock, surf, uh, pretty, pretty awesome stuff. So we will feature them uh, part two of our show. So go to the bathroom, smoke a cigarette, come right back because we're going to be right back after a short break. Okay? Thanks. Bye. Bye.